Welcome back. We are now getting some breaking news that's coming in from Jammu and Kashmir and this concerns uh, the stance that PDP is taking, especially after the killing of uh, Hijbullah chief Hassan Nasrallah. This time it is uh, Mehbooba Mufti's daughter Iltija Mufti who in fact has uh, spoken about uh, Hassan Nasrallah uh, saying that he'd fought for the benefit of others. Uh, he was a selfless man. Let's take a look at the statements that uh, Iltija Mufti is making uh, showing solidarity to Hassan आप जानते हैं हसन नसरुल्ला साहब जो थे उनको कल कैसे इज़राइल ने मारा असेसिनेट किया वो शहीद हुए तो मैंने तब भी अपना कैंपेन स्टार्ट करने से पहले उनका भी जिक्र किया वी फील वेरी सैड क्योंकि उनने जहां भी दुनिया में खास तौर से गाजा में जुल्मों से तम हुआ उसके खिलाफ उन्हें एक्शन लिया बात की सो आर हार्ट आर फुल ऑफ सैडनेस so this is how uh, iltija mufti is choosing to refer to hasan nasrallah she uh, refers to him as nasrallah sahab and she speaks of him in great regard and that is the same stance that her mother has uh, taken visa we not campaigning uh, for the elections uh, right ahead of the third phase that happens tomorrow in jammu and kashmir and uh, uh, on the same lines iltija mufti who is by the way making her debut as far as this year's elections are concerned uh, she has spoken of Hassan Nasrallah and she claims that he is a man of high regard. Uh, let me take this across to my colleague Ishan who's tracking all the developments that are coming out of the valley especially in the face of the death of Hassan Nasrallah. Uh, Ishan this will turn out to be another controversial statement and uh, will garner enough responses by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Well absolutely right you know PDP has uh, been a party which is uh, never short of controversies. And this is the statement by Indrajit Mufti is saying that people should have a right to protest because there are people, uh, in what she said, that the oppressed territories of Lebanon and Palestine, where uh, the carpet bombing has taken place. According to Indrajit Mufti, she says uh, that uh, you know they have lost a great leader, and the people should be allowed to protest and uh, you know they shouldn't be shot. Uh, you know, PDP has never showed a controversy. You know, Mehboob Mufti has cancelled in campaigning, and ever since then, the BJP is trying to hit out uh, at the PDP, claiming that uh, the party uh, hasn't ever shed tears about the Hindus being uh, targeted in Bangladesh and other incidents. So, but uh, this is a political season where you will see war and war between several political parties take place, and uh, now we have uh, Indrajit Mufti also diving in the controversy. Okay. saying that uh, you know uh, people should have right to protest and it's a big loss and uh, people, their hearts are heavy uh, mm -hmm. she was addressing a rally and uh, then that's where she made this statement ishan why do you think this is becoming a part of the last uh, few minutes of campaigning that remain that is remaining as far as the last phase of election in kashmir is concerned uh, why not just concentrate on the local issues or the issues which are of more political significance like the abrogation of article 370 or in fact the restoration of statehood why has hasan nasrallah suddenly become part of the discourse uh well it has become a minutely a part of this course but nevertheless it has been now become a part of this course is the bjp has uh, also uh, decided to criticize the regional political parties out of become a larger uh, political debate uh, in the last phase of the assembly elections uh we have for the bjp they have a lot at stake they have those seats going to polls which are uh, which are they have been able to claim from last uh, two elections and yes. they will want those seats to fall in their pity and they would want the bdp or the congress and the national party to stay out of them and that's mm -hmm. why you see the heavy criticism of these regional political parties when the congress is coming in from the uh the bjp while the while the regional political parties are trying to aim big and try to make sure that the muslim audience that they have in kashmir they are able to cater to them or those who have hit the streets since yesterday they mm -hmm. able to uh, resonate their uh, voices and they are able to uh, make sure that they are able to you know get to some votes and uh, get more votes in their favor there are certain areas of the north kashmir that are going to polls tomorrow which actually are dominated and there are major witness of uh, you know protest taking place yesterday okay. they want to encash on those votes and they want that vote to fall in their favor